I'm going to show you a really simple way to toggle your equipment off of a tree, including your pack. Just got a length of cordage here, about six foot. And I've got a bowline knot tied in one side, just a stop knot tied in the other. I'll take that around the tree, run it through that bowline, simply climb the rope, grab it, climb the rope, stick a toggle in there, and now I've created a marline spike hitch with a toggle. And I can now hang my backpack off the tree at any comfortable height I want to be able to work for my pack and still keep it off the ground. Now I'm a really big fan of simple. Everything I do, I like to keep it as simple as possible so it's quick and easy, and easy to retrieve. And I keep a couple of Prusik loops, Prusik loops on my ridge line, which I just tie with that standard bowline knot trucker's hitch that I've always used. And I keep a couple toggles on there. You wouldn't necessarily have to keep these toggles on there if you wanted to not take up that room in your pack but a couple toggles in your wound cordage that you've already got hanked up anyway don't take up that much room in your pack. And then you've always got the toggles. And now I can just slide this up and down to put my tarp on here or my tent or whatever I'm using with this ridge line to adjust it where I want it. Now generally when I pack my pack, I like to use a mentality of first out, last in, which means that when I'm packing up my pack from the bottom up, the things that I'm gonna use first or most likely to be used are gonna be at the top of my pack. So I don't have to fish around for them. So my tarp and any staking material, extra rope that I have, is always right in the top of my pack. So as soon as I stop and throw my ridge line up, which is usually kept in this bag, I throw my ridge line up, I've got my tarp and any staking that I need right accessible to me at the top of my pack without taking anything else out. And I can quickly close my pack if the weather should turn foul or I'm sitting up in the rain. Now I generally will keep a couple of pieces of rope in that stake bag. And like I said, it'll usually be bank line, because I like using bank line for this kind of stuff for tie outs. Orange paracord is just as good, so you can see it at night. I keep a just a prusik loop, or excuse me, a bowline loop in one end, and a stop knot in the other, just like I do with that utility rope that I carry in my pocket. That allows me to come over here and feed that rope through, even if it's hanked up. It'll allow me to come through and feed it through here and feed that entire loop through, even if I've got my cord hanked up, so that I can then just take that hank and walk away from the tarp with it to set my stake. Okay, let's talk about another way to use this Marline spike hitch in camp, because I believe the more you can use a knot, the less things you have to know around camp to get the same jobs done. What we did here with this tarp line is we put a Prusik loop on here. And a Prusik loop is pretty simple to create. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. And then I just put a lark's head around this toggle. So let's forego that for a minute. Let's move that out of the way. Let's take another piece of line here. Again, I'm just going to tie a stop knot in both ends of it for the time being. Okay. And it's just a piece of 36 bank line. It's probably a foot long. And I'm going to come up here on the line. And the way you tie that Prusik loop is by taking a bite over the line, just like you would if you were making a lark's head knot. So you pull that over the line. If you pull it through one time, you've created a lark's head knot. And there's a lot of variations I could show you of this that are really cool too. Um, if you actually take that loop that you've got right there and turn it over one time into a figure of eight and pull the line back through it, it creates a self-tightening knot because it creates on this back side, you've got a lark set on the top, and on the back side here, it's going to create a clove hitch. What that won't do for you is it won't keep it from sliding up and down the line, 
but it does make something that's very permanent if you're trying to tighten something around the toggle you can use that method and it will be pretty permanent so back to our prusik what we're going to do is we're going to come back here do the same thing with the loop over and we're going to pull through and that would be our lark set so what we're going to do is we're going to go through that loop two more times with both of those lines and that's going to create that prusik and that will give us something that will tighten down the line as we pull side to side tension on it now we've got one side that's short on this thing and one side that's lo longer we're going to dress our knot up a little bit here just to make sure everything's neat and tidy on the line and you're only going to have to do this one time and now we've got something that when we pull side to side pressure on it's not going to move but now i've got this long line hanging down here and now i can just take and make a mini knot of that marline spike and put that through my toggle I can come down here take this one out slide it down the line and out of the way put this one through that we just put on the marline spike hitch and accomplish exactly the same thing with that that we did set up the other way and now we've used that marline spike hitch twice in this camp okay another way to use that marline spike hitch is with our hammock we've got our tree strap here that goes around the tree and we've got a fairly large toggle and all we're going to do is create that same marline spike hitch which again i just take my hand and turn it upside down the line pick that line up and wrap it around and climb the line and pull a loop through and when i pull that down i now have a marline spike hitch in that line and if my hammock employs something like whoopee slings which mine does on this hammockgear.com hammock I can then put that through here and as long as the tension is on the knot and it's not spread across the toggle I can tighten everything up to where I need to be and put a lot of tension on that dude and now it's not going to be a problem for me to use this as part of my hammock system is this as safe as something like a carabiner in that same location, in that same knot? Probably not as safe, but you don't have to carry the carabiners this way. And if you get a good stout toggle and you make sure that your line is pulling against the knot here, instead of pulling against the toggle itself, you're gonna be in good shape. So that's three ways we've used that same knot throughout this camp. Okay, one more way that we can use this same knot is to put our stakes in the ground to stake out our tarp. All we're gonna do is come up here, grab a marline spike hitch. All we're doing is putting a toggle through there. A stake is just a toggle. Once we pull down on it, it's not going anywhere. Figure out where we want that stake to go in the ground at and shove it in. The great thing about that is when we wanna pull it out, all we have to do is slide that thing down the stake and it pops right out. So if I go from a staking the ground situation to tying it to a tree, to fly my tarp, it's very, very simple to do that using this system, and I don't have to untie any knots. And that is really the beauty of that Marline spy hitch. Okay, the last thing we're going to use this knot for today is we're going to use it to hang our pot over the fire. We have created a tripod here using a tripod lash, and we've got some tail left over that we can wrap around one of the top pieces if it's too long so that we can adjust the height of our pot up and down on the fire. Now we have to attach this toggle to the line. How do we do that? Well, again, we just make a little mini Marline spike hitch in there, tighten that dude down. We can pull it all the way down to the end of that line if we don't want any tail hanging down there. Easy enough. We can kind of adjust that and pull it up just like that. I've got a couple of knots right there that'll hold things really good. And now I've got a good steady place to hang my pot over the fire. And if I need to adjust the height, it's easy enough to just take a couple wraps up or down to adjust the height of that pot hanging over my cook fire. Okay guys, well we just talked about five different things that we could use the same knot for throughout setting up a simple camp. Any knot that you can have that much versatility with is absolutely worth learning. 
I appreciate you joining me today for this video. I appreciate everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business. For all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can, guys. Thanks.